Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Our first topic is number system. Subtopic 1.1 real numbers. At the end of this video, students should be able to define natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, prime numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Represent rational and irrational numbers in decimal form. Represent the relationship of number sets in a real number system, diagrammatically showing N subset to W, subset Z, subset Q, and Q union Q bar equal to R. Represent open, close, and half open intervals and their representations on the number line and find union and intersection of two or more intervals with the aid of number line real numbers number systems have evolved over millennia from natural numbers to complex numbers the real number system consists of two large sets of numbers, that is, rational numbers and irrational numbers. Type of numbers. First, we have natural numbers. We are using N, capital N, as the symbol, and natural numbers are counting numbers and also call the positive integers. For example, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Next is prime number. Prime numbers are natural numbers greater than 1 and can only be divided by itself and 1. For example, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Next, whole number. Notation is capital W. Whole numbers are numbers, the natural numbers, together with the number 0. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Next, Integers. Notation is capital Z. The whole numbers together with the negative of natural numbers. We have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. For integers, it can be divided into positive integer. We are using Z superscript positive. And for negative integer, Z superscript negative. Okay, for Z positive, number 1, 2, 3 and so on. Negative integer, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1 and so on. Okay, next is even numbers. Okay, the number that is multiple of 2 negative 2 negative 4 negative 2 negative 6 0 4 6 and so on okay, next is odd number odd number is not multiple of 2 for example negative 5 negative 3 negative 1 1 3 5 and so on next is rational number Okay, notation is capital Q, the number that can be written in the form of fraction P over Q, where P and Q are integers. It can also be represented in decimal form. The decimal representation is either a terminating or a repeating. Okay, for example, we have 2 over equal to 0 0.4 so this is under uh, terminating number ok 
Okay. So, 6 equal to 6 over 1 equals 6.0. Are terminating decimal number. Okay. Or 1 over 3. 1 over 3. Equal to 0 0.3333. So, this is under repeating number. Okay. 2 over 11. Equal to 0 0.1818 or we can write as 0 0.18 bar. We have bar for 1 and 8 and this is under repeating number. Okay, next. Okay, the opposite, the opposite is irrational number. We are using Q bar as the notation. Q bar. The number that cannot be written as fraction and it can be represented by a decimal number that neither terminates or repeats. For example, we have set 2 is 1.4142 dot 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 pi e exponent ln 4 and so on. Next, we go to the relationship of number sets. Okay. First, for real number. Under real number, we have rational number and irrational number. Under rational number, we have integers and non-integer ratios of integers. Then we have negative of natural numbers, whole numbers, under whole numbers we have zero and natural numbers, under natural numbers we have prime numbers and non-prime numbers. Okay, and you can see here we have a Venn diagram okay, to show the relationship between the numbers. Okay, so and natural numbers. Natural numbers are subset of whole numbers, subset of integer, and subset of Q, rational numbers. And you can see here, the union of Q and Q bar will be the real numbers. Okay. Next. We can represent all the numbers using a real number line. So, you need to arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order. Okay, commonly we are using the ascending order. Interval of real number. An interval of real number is the set of real numbers that lie between two real numbers which are called endpoints. The endpoints of an open interval represented by using empty circle. Empty circle. And we use the round bracket for the notation. Okay. Next, the closed interval. For the closed interval, we use dense circle. Or black circle and for notation we use square bracket okay first up is closed interval closed for a and closed for b for inequality we write x greater equals a we have equal sign and less equal to b for number line we use the dense circle for both and then we connect the two numbers so for closed interval for closed interval we have square bracket with equal sign and we use dense circle. Okay, next is 
open interval. We use okay, the round bracket. For inequality, we don't have the equal sign. And we use the empty circle for the number line. Next, half open interval. One is open. One of the endpoints is open. For the first one here, we have open for A, closed for B. A, we don't have the equal sign. And we have equal sign for B. So, one is open, another one is closed. Okay. Open for A, empty circle for A, then circle for B. We connect A and B. Next case, we have closed for A, open for B. Equal sign for closed A. Okay. And we don't have the equal sign for B. For A, we use the then circle or black circle. And we use the empty or open circle. Okay, for B. Next, open interval. But, okay, for the next one, okay, we are dealing with infinity. Infinity is a symbol for a very big number. Okay, first, we have negative infinity until B. Okay, please remember... For infinity, we always use the open interval. Infinity for infinity, so we always use open interval because we don't know what is the exact number. Okay, infinity is just a symbol. Okay, so for open interval, we have negative infinity until B. B is open. We can write the, the inequality as x less than b, no equal sign. For number line, we can okay, draw the empty circle for b and we use the arrow. Okay? Because for this one, we have negative infinity until b. So, your arrow here turns to the left, to the negative infinity. Okay, for infinity, we can use arrow only. Okay, half open interval. Okay, and as I told you, for infinity, we use open. And for this case, okay, closed for B. For inequality, we write X less equal B. We have equal. Okay, for number line, we draw the dense circle. And your arrow turns to the left for negative infinity. Okay, next. Open interval. We have open for infinity and also open for A. Okay, open interval. We use the round bracket. For inequality, we write X more than A. X greater than A. No equal sign here. Okay. So, for number line, we draw the empty circle. We use arrow. Okay. To the right. For positive infinity. Okay. And the last one, for half open interval. Okay. Open for infinity. Infinity is always open. And closed for A. So, we write X greater equal to A with equal sign. So, we draw the then circle from A. We use arrow and your arrow turns to the right for positive infinity. Solution set notation given X greater than 2 less equal to 8.
if we notice here for 2 we don't have the equal sign and we have equal sign for 8 so we can write the notation the interval notation as to open for 2 and closed for 8 for number line okay, we put 2 and 8 first we use open circle for 2 and dense circle for 8 next x more than negative 2 x more than negative 2 meaning that your value of x turn to positive infinity so we can write negative 2 until infinity we always use open or round bracket for infinity and round bracket for negative 2 because we don't have the equal sign for number line okay, we put negative 2 we use the empty circle use arrow to the right means to positive infinity okay, next x less equal to negative 4 sorry x less equal to 4 so we can write negative infinity until 4 negative infinity is always open 4 is closed we use square bracket because we have equal sign and for number line okay we put 4 then we use arrow okay, we draw the arrow to the left for number 4 here we use then circle okay, next we have x greater equal to negative 5 less equal to 2 so we write negative 5 until 2 both with equal sign so both closed we use square bracket for number line we write negative 5 and 2 both are dense circle Okay. Union and intersection on intervals. If A and B are two intervals, then union of A and B denoted by A union B, so this is the symbol for union, is given by A union B equal to X element of A or X element of B. For intersection, we use A intersect B. So, this is the symbol for intersection. Is given by A intersect B equal to X element of A and X element of B. Meaning that it happened at the same time. Okay, for union, salah satu pun dah dikira. Tetapi, untuk intersection, Dia mesti ada dua, dua. And bermaksud happen at the same time. Okay, we go to example number two. Simplify each of the following. Okay, first, we write all the numbers. So, we have negative three, zero, 1 and 4. First, negative 3 until 4. Open. 
next is next is 0 until 1 both open the symbol is intersect intersect so we need to find the region with both lines so the answer is here meaning that the final answer is from 0 until 1 open interval okay part b we put all the numbers negative 1 next we have 4 and then 10 negative 1 until 10 for the first one both okay closed negative 1 closed 10 also closed Second, we have 4 until 10. 10 closed, 4 open. Okay, the operation is union. For union, we take all the region. Meaning that the answer will be here, all. Therefore, the final answer is from negative 1 until 10. 10 closed, negative 1 is also closed. Okay, and the last one, we have negative infinity 3 union 3 infinity. So, we write 3. First is negative infinity until 3 we use arrow to the left okay. and second is 3 until infinity the operation is union so we take all meaning that the answer will be all but if you notice here when your x equal to 3, 4 blue line, okay, 3 is open. And for purple line, 3 is also open. Meaning that for this case, 3 is excluded. Therefore, we can write the answer is still negative infinity 3 union 3 infinity or we can write the answer as all real numbers we use backslash for except okay, so all real numbers except number 3 okay so we have two versions to state the final answer